Happy Saturday everyone. So I'm here at my work table and I have just been jelly printing away and I just knew that you guys would love to see this technique. I'm playing around with some of the stencils. This one sten the stencil I'm going to use today is one that's going to be in the book. So for all of you who did the pre-sale on the book, you guys will be getting um, this stencil. And um, I'm only working with my prototype. So um, it's it's got some various bugs that I got out of it. So the one that you'll be getting in your book is similar, but a better version. But I wanted to, I was playing around with the idea of these um, Kenti cloth. Um, no, this isn't Kenti. This is actually Swooza cloth um, and Kuba cloth. And I just love these patterns. Many of my stamps that you guys already have, the Art Foamies, are these patterns. So we're going to work with this. This is kind of like my inspiration is these kind of patterns. And I wanted to recreate them like in a sort of like a jazz pattern, something that's got a lot of layers. So this is one that I was playing with. So I'm going to show you how I did this one. Really, really like it. I mean, this is great stuff for collage, papers, um, so much you can do with them. And it's just layering. Um, that's one. This is a yummy on tracing paper. Look at that. I mean, that's just ready to, um, you know, just work with the collage material. Here's another one. I really love pulling it on the tissue paper. You get all these multiple layers of color. And of course, when we go to glue this down, it's supreme. This one right here. Is a nice pull. So, lots of others over here I was playing with. Um, here's another kind of reverse pattern of the stencil. So, we'll get started. I'm going to show you what I've done. So, the inspiration are the Art Foamy stamps. If you already have them, go grab them. We're going to work with some of this, um, this uh, Yasutomo um calligraphy paper you get this on amazon i have the link below um it's called sketch paper but it's because because it's for like you know sumi painting and stuff like that but we're going to pull a full sh a, a few sheets off and um so we'll do i'll do a quick ses ses session to show you how i did those and um yeah, so we'll use this as a, as a way to get started. So what we want to do is we want to start off creating a background. So we're going to work on this one here. And the background for this one was sort of like this butter yellow. So that's the first layer that I've done. So let's go ahead and put that down and pull it. And what I like to do is I like to just go ahead and get a few layers going. So I'm going to use this butter color. And uh, so you just want to get your first layer, just make it a single. You can do an ombre also. Um, I'm going to use the smooth side. A lot of times I use both sides, but I'm going to go with the smooth because I am picking up a lot of layers and I want to make sure that I get really good pickup. And the smooth side, because it doesn't have all the little pebbly parts on it. It will pick up a lot more paint, but honestly, I like the textured side too. So it's just your choice. There's no right or wrong there. It's just like, you know, what you're going after. So we're going to go ahead and pull this one. We'll get a nice pull there. As you can see that's a nice, nice buttery yellow. And I am going to take a cream this tight this unbleached titanium which is blick um so i'm gonna go ahead and put this down and get a nice little layer of that it's going to be a little bit of this buttery color on it so mix it in and we'll get this layer okay 
So having a couple of sheets ready to go allows for us to um, be able to get, you know, the negative and the positives from the stencil. Okay, so lots to show in a short period of time. So I'm going to show you how we did this one. And when we work on this one, I'm also going to work on... Yeah, we're going to we're going to get this one going. So I'll show you how I did this one. And it's so much texture from the paint um, from the stamps. It's just yummy. Okay, so this is a good another good pull. Little old wall going on there, which is never um, which is always, you know, I was going to say you know, it's always a good thing. I never mind it. So then the next one, what I did is I used this ladder stencil from Jelly Arts and it kind of gave me this, this grid underneath there. So it just added up this grid of quinacridone, which um, just gives an illusion of more pattern. Um, well, it's not an illusion, you are getting pattern, but it's nice with this technique because we just want to keep on building up pattern. So we're going to put this down and uh, so we'll take the first sort of brighter yellow just to get a little more contrast. That down. And so we're going to pick up you know everything in between those that square grid. So really Press down in there, get as much as you can, up. okay, so that gives us this, so it gives us that nice little gridded pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and use the second one we did to pick up the ghost. Okay. Okay. So that's good. We get this nice reverse grid, which is cool. Now I'm going to get my stencil. This is the one that's going to come in the book. But like I said, this one is, it's, it, it's a full sheet. So you're going to get this pattern and then you're going to get a um, script. So there'll be two in there, but this one is not going to be, huh? Oh, it made my light go out. Alrighty, so, um, like the, when they get the stencil, there'll be bridges and stuff here. This was my, um, the one that we were working with to create, and I haven't gotten the final design back yet, but that's what we're working with. So, it's exciting. So let's go ahead and put the black, So we're going to go ahead and put black down. We're going to use that stencil for the black. Let's get a nice little layer. Let's use this one. Okay. So we'll put this down and so what I want to do, like I said, you, it won't be a long sheet like this. It's going to be separate stencils. So it'll be a little easier to work with. But I wanted to start working with these and I was excited to show you all. So, um, but of course these techniques you can do with your st the stencils you already have and the stamps. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cross grid. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to grab some of this, 
So once again, really get down in here and pick that color, I mean, you know, get the color really pressed against our papers. I'm loving these. I'm thinking we could use these in, you know, our journals, a sacred feminine book, you know, all these patterns. I mean, look at that already. See, already we're just getting that cross hatching of sort of that jazzy pattern. So I'm gonna pick, lift it up, and I am going to put some more, a little bit more down, and we're gonna do it again. So I want to, you know, get some. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down again. Okay, and I'm going to kind of somewhat line it up. Put that down already. There's so much we can do with these papers. We can stain them afterwards. We can, like, there's lots of techniques. I'll be showing you other things, but I just wanted to... I was working with doing multiple layers with stencils and stamps, and so I just wanted to show you guys. So there we are, look at that. So that's good, that overall pattern is just yummy. So now this bit here, I'm just gonna pick up, you know what, I'm gonna pick it up on just a piece of brown paper. Because I can use this and, you know, why not? I just opened up a bag, you know me, post-consumer art. Got this bag from the hardware store and I just started using it. This is a good one to get secondary patterns on and we stain it with some coffee, stuff like that. So always think in terms of, you know, all the different ways you're, you're able to um, pick stuff up off the plate and, you know, of course use it. So that's good. So that, that'll be ready to work with too. Alrighty, so now with this one, I wanna come back and I wanna do a little over stamping. So move this over and we'll just take a, an extra gel plate. And I'm gonna over stamp with, um, could use, I was going to use black, but you know what, I may, let's see, what other color? Now, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to stick with the black, I'll tell you why, because I'm going to come back with gold on top of this, and I really want this to pop. So we're just going to do some random stamping with the Art Foamies. So let's, this is our palette, so just kind of you know, a little bit around. So now this in the Art Foamies is actually the same pattern as the large stencil. So if you already have these, right now these, these stamps have been retired, but um, I will be bringing them back out. So, so like I have an area like there. I think we can just kind of over stamp. Oh yeah, that's good. And kind of create these grids, right? I mean, just kind of, just go in randomly and stamp. You know, you don't have to hit every spot. We're just gonna kind of like, get things around. Got another stencil stamp somewhere. What to do with it? We won't worry about it. Um, let's put a little bit more down here. Oh, I think you have pretty wet. Let's see. So I'm using the fancy black in the Arteza, but also. This black flash and color shift is really good too. 
So, um, so see how we're just kind of building up, just we're kind of stamping all around. Um, let me get some more of this. And maybe one more, get some of this. Um, yeah. Just kind of getting, um, you know, collage paper that we can use a lot of different ways. And using it on this, this uh, calligraphy paper is really good because it, it glues down beautifully. It takes the colors nicely. It's a real strong paper. So I love working with it. So now we're going to let that dry a bit. And then we're going to come back and print on that and put our gold on top. So you can see where we are right now. You know, we sort of have this pattern going. And then we're going to come back with the gold on top and just really. So that'll be our fourth layer. In the meantime, while that's drying, I'm going to show you um, another another way of doing this. So we're going to um, put some white down, and let's go ahead and roll this out. I want to get a decent amount, not too much, but not too little, because we want to you know have enough that's going to come through so this first one take it and put it down and um I'm going to pull this on top of, let's go ahead and pull it on top of this piece right here. Because remember, this was our secondary piece that we're working with. So let's go ahead and we're going to pick up some of this white right over this pattern. So just keep layering. You know, sometimes I find the less I think about things, the better they are. For me, if I do too much planning, I'll tell you, I don't know. My best things seem when I just get in the flow just pick stuff up. The main thing is you want to layer three or four or five layers. You know, don't stop. Just change your paint color. You know, we could come back and stamp on top with gold. With You know, do these stamps in the gold over top of something like this would be really nice. So just kind of keep going. Because as collage paper... You know, you just tear bits and pieces of this, use it in our journal, use it on, in collaging. You, you just can't go wrong. So see how that just creates a nice, really a nice pattern over. And I think what I would do is I'm going to go ahead and pick a little bit more of this up because there's still stuff down here. Let me just kind of lay it. I think what I would do too is with this one, I would come back with the gold. Um and stamp over top of it. I think that's going to be really pretty. But let me just get the rest of this up best I can. See, we still picking stuff up. So let's just grab this onto the end. Because you can also stain these. Oh my goodness. Once these papers are dry, we come back not only with coffee staining, but other stain products like Seth's um, stains or Tim Holtz's. I mean, you know, like it's, oh, this is good. See, so we're just getting that build up started. Okay, so now what we want to do is I want to go ahead and put some quinacridone down. And uh, let's go ahead and we want to go right through the stencil. So remember that white is still down there because it's underneath this stencil. So we're going to just kind of do a two-tone. So 
gonna get it right through here, get a nice coverage. And then we're gonna pick it up. And we got that pattern down there, which looks so good. And we're gonna get another sheet. We could already have a layer down there or not. Uh, without the layer, when I go to stain this, this would just be yummy. And a lot of the other color that's down there, we should be able to pull up. So I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute. And while that's sitting there, we're gonna take this one here. I'll lay it down so you guys can see it. And just taking a piece of tissue paper, lay that on top and we can pick this up. And then this becomes a reverse of the pattern that we can use um, in collage because now with the tissue paper you know it's translucent and we can pick this pattern up and no need to waste that paint either really let this the paper both these papers are strong enough so it can really hold up to um, this process of getting as much paint off as we can. Okay, so yeah, this is good. So you see that? So now we have this beautiful translucent bit that we can use in collaging. And of course, once this dries, you stain on it, and this is going to be good stuff too. Love it. Oh, I love it. So we'll go ahead and pick this up. And then let's see what this is looking like. We should really get a good print off of here now. Oh yes, look at that. So, what a good print. And that black that was still on the plate has picked up, oh, that looks so good. And that randomness of it really brings in the idea of the cloth. You see? It's this same kind of randomness of color and pattern. And just with this one stencil that will be in the book, ugh. and the only place this stencil is, is it's in the book. It's an exclusive for, you know, the release, release of my jelly printing book. Many of you've already um, pre-ordered it. And for those who haven't, please, the link is below. It's gonna be released October 28th. And all these stencils are gonna be in it. So, one other thing, so what, what I want to do is I'm going to get the gold out now because we're going to take these we were working on, this one right here, and then let's do a final layer with that stencil in the gold. Let's do that. And we're also going to, at the same time, we're going to work, let's do this one first. So we're going to use the golden iridescent bronze. Let's put that down. And uh, okay. So we'll put this down. So now I'm going to do this the opposite way because the black I did this way. So now let's cross hatch this way and pick up the gold. So just using some, the, you know, your stencils, stamps, just have at it. really press down and get into the you know the grooves oh this is good yes look at that oh, so just oh boy that's see the complexity that we're getting yes we want it nice and complex so now I'm going to lift this up I am going to 
pull a little bit more gold down. Where is my gold? Because I want to get it on the other side of it to complete it. So just a little bit more. Roll it out. Okay. This back down. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and grab it on this side. Just kind of loosely line it up. Okay. And then um, get this down and Oh yes, that's good. So there gives us another version of this one. Oh, but look at that. That's just so ready to go. Ah, oh, book covers, beautiful. Mm. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, you know, I have this one down here with the white. Why not pick up a little bit more of this gold? Maybe do it like this way. Why not? You just keep on layering. Even the slightest little bit of a ghost, you know, can just layer up, especially in a metallic. Can't go wrong with adding a little bit of metallic to things, especially when you still have extra paint hanging around. Yeah, that's good. So see, we picked up some more there. Now what we're going to do is put that down and let me see. Okay, so let's get a little bit more of the gold and let's do some over stamping on, um, on this one that had the white and we just put a little gold down there. So let's just go ahead and um, do some stamping. And this stuff really is amazing when you um, once it all dries and I came back and did some um, like um, I want to say staining it's staining yeah with coffee that kind of thing oh my goodness coffee or any of the Tim Holtz you know, um, spray dyes or um, Seth Apters, of course. You know, we all have a lot of his and we love them. Um, but see how we just can start working on this and just literally make uh, a grid pattern over what we have. Because the whole goal here is to just create some amazing collage papers for our projects. This one, there's a lot of paint on this um, plate, so we can get our fair share of it. And when this dries, it's just going to be amazing. Coffee stain on top of this? Oh, yeah. Could definitely do that. Let me see. This one. And uh, so there we have it. So we'll let that dry, but look how gorgeous that's going to be and it's got all these different layers of paint and oh my goodness when we stain this that gold is going to just pop through this paper so beautifully so there is a quick you know um some stuff for you guys to work with and um i think what i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and do one more cleanup 
We'll put some white down and uh, we're just going to pull. We're going to do two things. We're going to activate this gold because it got a lot of gold on there and I think we can activate that and turn it into a really good um, print. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I think I'll come back onto this and overprint this white because I want to kind of get it out. And why not keep our brown paper going because this is going to be really good. And we could just go on and on and on, of course. So that's ugh, this brown paper. This is good. I really feel, you know what, we're going to pull that on black. So before we do that, let me go ahead and put, I'm going to let this dry on this white. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to take this tissue paper, put it down, kind of kind of overlap it so that I can get some more pattern. So we're going to let that sit. This right here, we're going to pull on some black paper. I can see that really looking good. So here's our black. Let's get that up. I mean, we could just go on and on. You guys get the idea. But the main thing I wanted to show today was layering. Just, you know, this idea of the multiple layering of our stencil stamps. So you start with your base color, one full color, or you can ombre it. And then either use a stencil and, and try to kind of work with descending colors. So I used the yellow, then I kind of went to the quinacridone. I moved to the black, I went to the gold. You can do black back over top of it. You know, just really kind of go, the, the word it, contrast. Try to work with some contrasting colors um, so that you can really just get this push and pull. Metallics are always the best as a top layer. That does some really good stuff. So, yes, lots of ideas. Oh, this is good. Yes, because the gold came up. So look at that. Oh, that white pulled the gold. And then on this black background, that's some yummy paper ready to go there. Oh, love it. So let's pull this last piece up. And then I'll be back to show you all the sheets dry. Okay, so we got some more. Yes, this is good. So everything is color. Oh, that's nice. So we got this additional, it's kind of hard to see, but this additional layer of gold there. Let me see. Oh yeah, see it? Oh, oh yeah, that gold. So now this paper is ready to do layers for collaging. And we'll, we'll work with these. But I'll be back in a minute with everything dry. So we are back. So these are papers that I made in my earlier session, but it's showing you they're so nice and dry and beautiful. And this is the one that we made, duplicating that one. It's just yummy. I love it. I mean, this right here is just good stuff. I mean, book covers, um, just beautiful, you know, base pieces to continue to collage. I mean, these could just collage on top of this. I could even do some scripting. Uh, love it. So here's one that we pulled. Overpainted white on this one, just stamped on the side. This one had gold on it. I think I did this in my patron session, but just showing you different color options. The butter on the bottom, this the stencil in gold. Then I side stamped one side of it with the same stamp and the black flash and then came back over with the white and the same stencil, the book stencil over top like that. Um, 
here we are this is the first one that I did um, and I'm just showing you guys we so we did it again here just duplicating it so we started with the yellow base we came back with the ladder stencil which is a jelly art stencil and um, then we came back with my black book stencil this way that way then we over stamped with a lot of the um, the art foamies in this Cuba pattern and then we came back with the gold the long ways this way and so that was what one two three four five layers and you just get this really gorgeous you know collage paper I mean you could just what couldn't you do with that oh okay and then this is some more of the tissue paper like I love it this is our um, basically kind of like the second pull sheet the ghost print so start with the yellow we did a ghost of the ladder came back and I did the white the ghost of the white from my book stencil then I did the the gold just a little bit of gold there and then I over stamped with um, the gold in all of the various Cuba blocks oh, love it and then this we just simply cleaned the plate off on black paper with that white and it pulled up the gold this is good and then this one was just we're just cleaning up the plate on, a, on the brown paper and just really got some good pulls I mean that's just good this could be used as a background to start collaging other elements on this is good and then all of these things could take coffee staining and various things like that so yeah alrighty hope you guys enjoyed this session today and uh, more to come alrighty and please you know remember to thumb the video up um, if it's your first time here, hit the bell, hit subscribe, and you'll get more videos like this and your notifications from YouTube. And also, yeah, I think that's everything for today. So love you guys and see you next week. Bye-bye.